Welcome back, everyone, to episode 10 of Curse of the Vistani. When last we left... Uh, oh, hello, Angel. Thank you for the four and a half year resub. 54 months. That's impressive. Nice. Probably one of my longest uh, subs. It's weird that it's four and a half years already. That's crazy. Uh, anyways, when last we left off... Uh, you guys beat the Vistani man, Peter, and t took him back to the town and sold off some of his stuff, uh, gave some of the money back to the town to help them recoup their losses. And... Gave a lot of money back to the town. Yeah, he gave yeah. quite a bit of it. I think like 100 gold, probably. We gave away 90. 90, yep. Yep. That's nuts. <laughs> that will definitely help them recoup their losses and help to find those kids a nice yeah, place. Yeah, 40, 40 went back to the apothecary and then 50 got distributed to just be sent amongst the market folk and to take care of the orphans. Exactly. All right. The way I look is... at it, wasn't our money to begin with. We did get right. some out of it, but... At least it helps right Peter's wrongs. Exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, and then the last thing you guys did was you got some new items. And rolled a net 20. Yes, we will start with that. So as you guys can see on the rolls, after we stopped last night, uh, Benene did her uh, usual roll for reading. She got a nat 20. Where is it? Up above songs rolls. Up above songs. Medicine nice. plus four. Yeah, right there. Twenty-four. Yep. Mm -hmm. The nat twenty on her reading. So, with that nat twenty, I I told her we'd uh, discuss that at the beginning of this one. So with that nat twenty, as you spend the night in this house, and you're studying up on your medicine book, like you've been doing. Since you left Rockford. And it's not like it's taken you this long to read the book. Uh, you've probably read it dozens of times by now. But there, there was this one part that was just stumping you. You couldn't understand what it was talking about. It, it wasn't clicking with you. But tonight, after you were reading, you went to sleep, and you woke up and had an epiphany. And you went back and looked at it, and it, it finally makes sense to you now. And with that, you now do not have to read this book anymore. You have learned everything you can learn from it. Okay. And you now have a new feat. So let me pull it up real quick. Pull up your character. I don't remember if I added it already or not. Uh, oh, the under features and traits at yep. the very bottom. So if you look at your features and traits. Yeah, there's nothing there. <clears throat> okay. Okay, yeah. So I need to add it real quick. All right, go ahead and refresh the page. Refreshing. So now you have the healer trait, healer feature. So when Ooh. you use a healer's kit to stabilize a dying creature, that creature also regains one HP. As an action, okay. you can spend one use of a healer's kit to tend to a creature and restore 1d6 plus 4 HP to it. Plus additional HP equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. The creature can't regain HP from this feat again until it finishes a short or long rest. Okay. So that is a new feature you have. And question. Reading this book. Yes. Healer's kits. Is that something that I'm going to have to buy? You should have one. Yeah, you should have some. Um. Let's see. 
We have mess kit. I have herbalism kit. Herbalism kit. So she doesn't actually have a healer's kit. I mean, we can obtain one of those. Yeah. They, they shouldn't be too hard to obtain. Okay. Uh, healer's kit. Yeah. They, they rent it, five gold it, pieces. Yeah, five gold pieces uh, for a healer's kit. Okay. Hi, Abby. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so. She just wants that, to be heard. That is your new perk for having finally understood this whole book that you've been reading for the last, like, week and a half. Okay. So I do still want to that. read my potions book on the way back, though. Okay. Yay! And, great. Okay. So. Where would you guys like to start off this time? You are just waking up. It is a new morning on this farm that you were allowed to stay in overnight. Uh, in the Loman residence. The, the wife of the house, uh, whose name? Yukarna. Yeah, Yagurna. <laughs> That's what I thought, but I couldn't remember if that was her or the other one. <laughs> yes, uh, Yagurna. It's not Lena. Right. So Yagurna is cooking up a nice breakfast. It's got some bacon, some ham, some scrambled eggs, all fresh from their farm. They didn't have to buy any of it. Um, so this is a really yummy, fresh meal for you guys to start the morning. Food. Yes, food. So. I guess go greet them at breakfast. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So you smell the breakfast cooking. It's wafting up the stairs into your noses in your rooms. And you are so enticed by it that you come down to the breakfast table uh, and sit for a delicious meal. Yay, food. <laughs> and she even has some uh, bones for uh, for Moro. And I don't think the panther would eat bones, but uh, some scraps for... I mean, for... any kind of meat, they would yeah. probably both eat. Yeah. Right. So scraps <clears throat> for... No, no. Uh, yes. So, you guys are all well eaten now. Do you guys stick around? Uh, do you go out to watch the hanging? Or do you guys set off for Rockford again? My preference would be going? no hanging. Yeah, I, I would prefer not to witness that. If y'all would like to, that's fine. Uh, Lily I... and I will go shopping. One does one does not need to see such terrible things to understand that they have happened. All right. I like to pre pretend they aren't going to happen. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do? Uh, shopping. Honest typing. Uh. Oh, okay. Son's oh. gonna go with Morrow. Son and Morrow are gonna go. All right. So. Where about what about you? Firedale is typing. Firedale can't talk right now. Okay, he so Son and Morrow can watch. go witness that, and the rest of us will go shopping or somewhere. All right. We'll do, do something you... else. Although I don't know if, if things are going to be open. That's fair. For shopping. <clears throat> do you want me to describe it, or do you want me to uh, skip over that and just do the shopping? I would rather not know. Okay, so just say it happened. Okay, so Son and Moro go to the hanging and uh, watch it happen. And we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Unless you want to be sadistic for your chat and describe the grisly details. Hey, some people 
like that sort of thing. Describe the grisly yeah. details. That's fine. We will just deafen and you just tell us when it's safe to listen again. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we will not go into the grisly details of it. We'll just say, you went and it happened. Um, for the shopping trip, is there anything specific you guys are shopping for? I don't think I'd find a healer's kit. So... Uh, you might. It's a common It's a common good. Healer's oh. kit? Yeah. That would be something you would find at the apothecaries. Okay. Now, whether or not they'd have one in stock right now is a different story. Yeah, because that's Lena and yeah, Marl. that's valid. Mm -hmm. I guess we could always go check, but if they're even there, they may have gone to the hanging. Mm -hmm. So that that's I up to you if you want check. to look for them. Going to check won't hurt. All right. So where are you going to check? I guess would be market. All right. Uh, Firedale says, I think the only thing to really note is if anything weird or strange happened during it, like if the townsfolk blood of the mayor, or bo booed? I assume that's blood of the mayor. Uh, or if the orphans showed up and cried the and mayor. left. It is oh, booed. booed. Okay. <clears throat> and left a little flower at his feet. Okay. Yeah, so no nothing of note really happened. It was your standard hanging. So, you head over to the market in search of Lena and Marl, and you do find Lena there at their stall. Um, it's not very well... She doesn't have a lot there, but she's kind of uh, messing around with stuff there at the moment. It's not, like, open for business, specifically. Although I'm sure she wouldn't say no to us. Was there anyone there that might have been in Vistandi? Just wondering. Uh, you can roll perception for that. <laughs> I love yeah. Fire Pesai. The guy being hanged? <laughs> uh, with a 16, no. You do not see anyone who looks like they would be a Vistani. Okay. So, you go up to Lena in the market. What do you say to her? Morning, Lena. How are you doing today? Uh, well, you know, I'm doing. I'm, I'm happy that we're going to be able to stay, that's for sure. Thanks to you guys. Well, but, uh, only trying to do what's right. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to kind of... <laughs> Ignore the hanging that's happening over by the courthouse. What hanging? I'm pretending it's not happening. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. Uh, what were so you going to say, Lily? So what can oh, I, I was just you? kind of agreeing with her, like, yep, I am also <laughs> ignoring what's happening. Let's just pretend it's not. I want to just be blissfully ignorant. Yeah, Marl went, but it, it wasn't really my scene. I didn't really feel like watching. Yeah. So, I have a question for you. Anything. I know you guys have sold off a lot of your stuff, but out of curiosity, do you happen to have any healer's kits? Oh, healer's kits. Hmm. Um, not here. We might have one or two left, um, but they, they'd they be back at our house. We haven't really restocked everything here yet. It's going to take a little while. <laughs> um, okay. But we could go back to my place and I could take a look. If you wouldn't mind, I would like to see if I can grab some. Sure, sure, no problem. Uh, let me just... Uh, tidy up here real quick and then we'll head out so she okay. she goes about she's like straightening up some paperwork that she had with her uh and just collecting some things and uh then she closes it up and uh starts heading back to her house with you and okay this time you guys get there a lot 
faster than you have any other time. Anything else? Because, of course, she knows the fastest way to get to her own house instead of weaving through town trying to find it like you guys did before. Mm. So, you guys... Oh, this is how you get here so quickly. Yeah, yeah. How, how did you get here? Um... We were only really given directions to places from one location, so we've been just trying our best. Oh, no. Very roundabout. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Like, very, very roundabout. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was odd you guys came through those bushes before. <laughs> uh. <laughs> through bushes, oh gosh. <laughs> uh. But anyways, let, let me take a look. We're here, so I'll take a look in our stuff. Give me one second. Okay, and She goes Sounds inside good. and uh, starts looking around. Um, while she's looking, is there anything else you're wanting to do here, or are you just going to wait for her? Anything you're possibly looking for, Lily? I don't believe so. All right. I'm mostly just along for the ride right now. Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. healer's kit, how many times can you use it to try and heal somebody? Ten. ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. It kit has ten uses, and you can restock it. It's basic stuff like bandages and salves and splints is what it is. Yeah. Okay, so I'm guessing I sh do I need to buy multiple? You can restock just... it later on. Or cheaper. Okay. So potentially I if, one. if DM says you can do that, because mm -hmm. that's what's in it. Right. So Hey dear. What? Can I restock it later or should I buy yeah, multiple? It wouldn't be hard to restock. Okay. You just have I'll to just find a, an apothecary and they should have the stuff to restock it. If we use anything, I could always stop in Rockford and get some, right? Right. Okay. All right, so... Fire Dell says just... I'm a cleric. Does that make a difference? Any church will probably help. So... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. you could restock yeah, if you a have church. Yeah, if you have a specific deity, then uh, your your temple would be helpful to you. Mm-hmm. It would, it would have to yet. be a church of your deity, though. Mm-hmm. Which, as as a cleric, you should have a deity. Yeah, I haven't looked through them. I need to choose one. Mm -hmm. You should do uh, that. I thought we <laughs> assigned you one. Never assigned me one. You tried to assign Lily one. Not uh, me. Yeah, we, we did give her one. We gave her the one that was closest to Mother Nature. Yeah. I forget the name. I can find it again. Yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Um... Eldath. It should be on her character Eldath. sheet. We have her deity is Eldath. Okay. And where are you seeing that? Um, on if you go to edit your character sheet, in the description tab, uh, if you scroll down into character details under faith, it says Eldath. Okay. Yeah, Eldath comes from the uh, Forgotten Realms content. So mm -hmm. she was a pacifist who avoided hostile action, but was also known as the Green Goddess. Okay. Okay, that didn't know we chose one, but okay. <laughs> yeah, we chose her with you. <clears throat> yeah, we chose her with you to help you get one that seemed right for how you were building your character. I guess I never read up on her then, and I forgot to. Yeah, you probably just forgot. I need to do that. <laughs> okay. So, um, you guys are just chatting outside. She comes back out. Uh, and she says, you're in luck. We had one left. So she hands you the healer's kit. Which That's you can wonderful. add you onto, so your, onto your inventory. And then I will also uh, hand her five gold, right? Uh, yep, that is how much it costs. In okay. general. Oh, oh, you don't have to, dear. You've already done so much for us. I, I'm happy to give this to you. Are you positive? Yeah, you've already given us so much money. I'm, like, more than we lost. It, it was sure. amazing. Yes. I am oh, positive, okay. dear. Thank you. Yes. 
Uh, Firedale says she's neutral good, so any good aligned church should be friendly to Lilia. Yep. Eldoth, goddess of peace, neutral god alignment, life, nature, domains, symbol is a waterfall plunging into a still pool. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I find healer's kit to add? Uh, oh, there go we go. To... Okay, you found it. Into I'm going to stick it into backpack, okay. not bag of holding. All right. Uh, could you ask Meteor if he saw your comment that they should have named Rue Meteorite instead? Yep. <laughs> we we considered it. We considered it. That was one of the ones we were thinking about, but we decided on Rue. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, uh, me and my wife just recently had a baby, and, and he's uh, adorable. And for stream's sake, his name is Rue. Yes. Not his actual it's, name, but that's what we're calling it's him. It's shorter monster. anyway, which will be handy. Yes. Yes. And he's adorable. Yes. Uh, might be able to bring him down uh, at some point, but I was going to bring him down to start and show you guys before we went live, but uh, it was time for feeding, so. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> hey, Abby. Yes, I haven't been down here in a while, I know. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, you now have a healer's kit. Is there Yay. anything else that you are wanting to talk to her about or do in town? Um, at this point, the hanging's probably over. And uh, San and Moro are probably looking for you guys. At the market. <laughs> what time is it at this point? Oh, we'll say 10.30. I'm still early. Mm -hmm. Enough still to head out early. if we wanted to. Right. I was like, is it getting close to lunch? Do we need to get another meal before we head out? But nah, should it's be fine. It's still pretty early in the morning. I would like to actually pick up some fresh uh, food from Lena and Marl. Or not Lena and Marl. Uh, Ugerna and, uh, and Loman. Uh, Loman, I believe they. Go. They gave us something. Yeah, maybe? they they. I believe they gave you some food. I didn't remember. Time. All I, I remembered. Was I, the I don't items. remember if we said that or not, but yeah, you would have gotten food from them before. You okay, left. so we got like restocked on like our fruit and stuff like that. Yeah, produce. Firedale wants Suggestion. to know where you guys are heading next. We mm -hmm. are heading towards Donnelly, but. The way to Donnelly is very roundabout, so we're actually going to pass hard. through Rockford first. My suggestion would be to maybe ask Lena if she wants us to walk with her back to the market, say goodbye to Loman and Yagurna, and then probably head out. Sure, that'd be great. That I'd love makes you guys' sense, company. Lily. At least say goodbye to the important people. Yep. So yeah, I guess head back to the market. Sure. Uh, See if Firedale we can say says... goodbye to people. <laughs> Firedale <laughs> says uh, we should have named him Lonar. Lonar Lake is a lake that was created by a meteor impact. <laughs> is that the one in Japan? I did not know about that. I'm sure there's plenty of lakes that were created by meteor impacts. I know there's a big one in Japan, though. Mm -hmm. All right. That's so the, the you guys one? walk uh, Lena back to her stall, where you okay. actually run into San and Moro again. Uh, who are kind of hanging around there, kind of looking around, trying to find you. And so you I'll just yell, sorry, San! We wanted something from Lena, and she took us back to her place. So... You guys have gone shopping. You got to see the hanging sun and morrow. Uh, is it time to head out then, or uh, what do you guys want to do? I guess say our goodbyes. All right. But mm -hmm. do we have to do all the chats for that? No. We'll okay. just say you said your goodbyes to everyone. Hi. Hi. Stay off the <laughs> desk. She's like, no. <laughs> and shush. Fire deal's not that chatty. <laughs> All right, so you guys head back to the stalls where you left your horse and buggy overnight. Yep. 
and uh, set out on your way? My guess would be mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Thank, thank the stable man for keeping our horse and buggy overnight. Yep. Okay. <laughs> San says she's so glad her cat is asleep and can't hear Abby. Uh, probably tried talking with her. Uh, all right. So you guys get your horse and buggies and you head out. And you probably travel about halfway to that, uh, a little over halfway to the river with the bridge where you met, um, what was his name? Um, the bear bug? Yeah, the bug bear. bear. Luther the bug bear. Luther. Yeah, Luther. Bug Thank bear. you. Sorry, I don't have everyone's names memorized. <laughs> Okay, he's my friend. I wrote him down. <laughs> All right. So you're a little over halfway to that bridge. And uh, coming towards you is a uh, traveling uh, market type thing. And Ooh. the cart is labeled Enchanted Goods. Did we oh, take a look? First thing first, uh, who can detect magic so we can make sure none of this is immediately... Raise his hand! Worrying. Uh, or Callan has the, Callan, the magical yeah. stick. Callan has the detect magic wand, or Benene has that ability as Actual well. spell. Mm -hmm. Well, actually so make sure like. they are... Well, if they're enchanted, yeah. wouldn't detect magic still set them off? You will see them, and you'll see what school of magic they're from. Okay. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. So we'd know immediately that if something <laughs> is supposed to be to do a specific thing, and it doesn't match school of magic, <laughs> they're probably full of shit. Okay. Fire Deal says, enchanted good. Cast detect magic. You detect nothing magical. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's all the right. other thought. So I assume you're having Callum do it then? Yeah. May right, as well. So, uh, Callan pulls out his wand and casts detect magic, and uh, sure enough, there's lots of pings inside of this cart. Like pretty much everything in here is enchanted in some way or another. Good, they're real. Okay. So, wh what's what's for sale, meteor? All right. So, yeah, let me anything pull up interesting? My notes. Oh, so I assume you're approaching the the cart. I'd at least like to see what they have. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, is it a Vistani merchant by chance? I'm guessing no. no. It is not a Vistani okay. merchant. So, so I'm like, I, I don't trust no one. I have the list of schools of magic in front of me, so I can ask if there are specific ones that Kellen is paying. So you go up to the. I'm sorry. Say that again. I, I do have the different schools of magic in front of me. Okay. We could check. Um, so that we can I'm, ask what, what Kellen's paying. I'm not sure what these would classify as. Uh, There's my cheat sheet. Alright. Um, probably enchantment. Okay, so literally the enchanted goods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally they're just like enchanted items. They're enchanted to do something. Uh, well, like abjuration would be like barriers or protection mm -hmm. spells. Right. Um, enchantment in this form is influencing the mind. Okay. Um. I don't know that it specifically is any one category. Fair enough. Okay, let's just find out what's there first. Yeah, so, let's let's ask him what's on offer. So you yep. approach the cart and you see a person who has like pale white face, uh like white hair. It's kind of like shoulder length. And, uh, like, a slim figure. You can't tell if it's a, a man or a woman. 
but th this is a changeling. And changelings don't often have like a specific gender to them. <laughs> it's a Malfoy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Malfoy. Okay. Um, it's a Fey. And uh, this changeling greets you and says, Hi, I'm Reitz. And this is my magical goods traveling cart. How can I help you? Just taking a look at what you have to offer to us today. Great. So we have a few different varieties of things. We have candies, we have cupcakes, and we have masks. Uh, which would you like to see? I, I will say right off the bat that uh, the, the masks, I am willing to tell you what they do. The candies and cupcakes, uh, it's more fun when it's a surprise. If you really want, I can tell you what they do, but it's... I always find it a lot more fun when it's a surprise. So basically like Birdie Bot's every, every flavor bean. Okay. <laughs> it's a mixed bag but of I, surprise. I have a few different of each, which I can give you descriptions of. And I can show you them. <laughs> Son. So which um, would you like to look at first? Not so much the food for me, but I'm kind of curious about the masks. All right. The masks. So, here we go. Here's our masks. So we have a that parrot mask. Me. <laughs> we have a parrot mask, a baba mask, a flump mask, grassy mask, fish head mask, ditto mask, mask of sense, and Mio's mask. Would you like to know anything more about any of those? And, and she hands you this paper that read. has, yeah, she hands you this paper uh, that you're seeing on screen right now that has the descriptions of them. I'm going to zoom in on that for the stream. Baba mask Zach might be an interesting immediately way. immediately interested in the grassy mask, like instantly, like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> the Baba mask might be interesting for disguising people i have a disguise kit and i have disguised self i don't yeah need a mask for that i just mm -hmm. flowers so for for the stream uh the grassy mask is it's made of very soft green grass when worn it slowly converts the wearer's hair into grass and small flowers and the baba mask is a repulsive mask of an unsightly old woman anything beautiful becomes abhorrent when wearing this mask Lilia looks at Mio's mask, the bottom one. Uh, Mio's mask is a porcelain mask of a woman's face. has no effect on humanoids, but if worn by a cat, they turn into a human girl. Mm. Ditto and parent. Parrot is crafted with real scarlet macaw feathers. You can mimic voices heard only while you wear all the mask is worn. Then the ditto is it changes your face to a face that has previously worn the mask, though it always gets some details wrong. So think of like the the original Pokemon series with the ditto that uh, couldn't quite copy Pokemon correctly. Duplica's ditto. Yep. That exactly. always had the eyes wrong. <laughs> the Neo's mask does sound interesting. Then there's Flump Face. Uh, rubbery tendrils dangle from this silly mask. It, faint, it faintly glows in different colors depending on your mood. There's the fish head, which is a disturbingly lifelike mask painted to represent a catfish. The mask constantly drips scuzzy water. And lastly, we oh. have the mask of scents. This mask looks like a pig's face and allows for you to sniff out where to find nearby edible mushrooms. The meals does sound there. interesting. Basically. Yeah. So, typically, how typically how expensive are the masks? Say again. Typically, how expensive are the masks? So the masks are five gold each. I'm tempted for the Mio's mask, and I'm guessing you want the grassy mask. Nah. No? The more I'm looking at it, Saflin already wears flowers in her hair and her horns. I, I don't think she needs a full head of flowers. 
It also the turns Mios. your hair into grass. So not yeah. just flowers, but grass itself as well. Yeah, the but Mios. I like I like the pink color. I don't want it to turn green. Mm -hmm. And this would be <laughs> only while you're wearing the mask. Yeah. The Mio's mask would be a good thing to disguise Firedale and me, though. If we ever needed to. Could be. But, but yeah, so the, the masks are more permanent enchantments on the masks, so it's not going to wear off after a while. But we're cats, <laughs> aren't we? So, uh... Yeah, you are technically cats. You're tabaxi, but, you're humanoid. Yeah. So it would be it would be put on Luna then. Yeah, it would only her. be good for Luna. Yeah, it could work on Luna. Or like a random stray cat. Her? Why would I yeah. want to change her into a human though? You you could use it to like if there's a cat nearby, something you're investigating, uh, you could put it on the cat to turn it into a human so you could talk to it. I have animal friendship. I can already do that. Right. Yeah, I don't see a point in that. <laughs> So, would you like any of these masks? Or would you like to look at some of our other goods? Before you decide. What else do you have? Alright, so we candies have and cupcakes. candies and cupcakes. Which would you like first? Can I ask if any of the candies or cupcakes pinged with a specific uh, um, school of magic? Like, are they pinging with transmutation, for example? Um... With transmutation. Um, Literally, like transformation magic. Turning into things. Let's see. Give me a second. <laughs> I need to pull it up. Um, like, illusion is just, would be kind of what the no. masks are doing. Transmutation is physically changing them. Like, polymorph. So no, there is nothing like that. Okay. So whatever's happening is likely not permanent. So that's good. Correct. Here we go. Uh, they what? are all <sighs> unique. Uh, here, let let me show you them. So... Will it take? Will it make my tail fluffier? <laughs> so this is what you see to start. There's the King Coco, which is a chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting and a little candy crown. Actually, you wanted the candies first, didn't you? Oh, last wish. I mean, I would have gone for any of them. All right. Uh, well, we'll do cupcakes first then. Uh, mythic cupcake. This cupcake has frosting designed to look like a mythical creature. A small, uh, the fool me twice. A small cupcake that is enough for two bites. It is frosted to look like a brain. Last yeah. wish. This cupcake is shaped to resemble a tombstone. The frosting is dull gray color. Delicious blueberry, a blueberry cupcake that is bright, yummy, and always the perfect temperature. <clears throat> and chroma cupcake. This colorful cupcake has a secret gooey center that is a random chromatic color. How much for one of the chroma cupcakes? That would be uh, three silver. I will go ahead and buy one of on those. the last wish one, too. Uh, you want the last wish one? I, I will buy the Chroma Cupcake. Alright, so she hands you a Chroma Cupcake, and did you want the last wish as well? <coughs> none of these will kill us, will it? No, none of these will kill you. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd like to try the last wish one. Alright. Here you go. Anyone else? So, Sun, uh, Aurora... Curio, would any of you like a cupcake? Han says nope. How long do they last? Um, it varies. Well, Curio also wants a chroma cupcake. Curio also wants a chroma? Mm-hmm. Kind person of the food variety is would be so kindly be as to offer me a selection of the cupcake of the chroma variety so that I may partake of its interesting looking deliciousness so that I may enjoy and find out what happens with it. Kindly, thank you. All right, so she gives you the uh, chroma cupcake as well. I'm curious uh, of the chroma cupcake too, but... Eh. Are you guys going to eat them now or are you saving them for later? 
apparently Curio oh, okay. immediately noms it. Curio immediately noms it. <laughs> I was it. about to take a bite, but seeing Curio take a bite, I'll wait. <laughs> All right. So. Um, Firedale. I want you to pick a color. Uh, let's see. Give me one second. Uh, How long does this last? Let's see. Um, hang on, I need to do something real quick. Uh, cupcake dropped in hand, hand to mouth. Uh, you're interested in Ditto Parrot and Baba. Five gold per mask. Are you interested in buying all of them? Thought you guys wanted the Baba mask. Okay. I said it was interesting. Um, Apparently, randomcolor.com chose cyan for Firebutt. Oh, hang on one second. I need to. Pull up the list of colors. <laughs> so there's a specific list of colors. Well, that would be helpful. Mm hmm. Alternatively, you could assign a number to each of that list of colors and just roll randomly and you decide what we get. Mm hmm. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, black, blue, uh, like copper, gold, green, red, silver, white, uh, or yellow. Those are the colors you can choose. So cyan is not an option. There is a blue and there's a green. Red. Curio wants red. red. All right. I saw that coming. So you bite into the cupcake and inside is a like red center. A red gooey center. And now that you have eaten this for one minute, you have... A fire dragon's breath. Of course. <laughs> of course. Interesting. I think I'll save mine for later. Yeah, so for one minute. I will <laughs> I believe I shall save mine moment for a moment I need it. <laughs> Wait, did you actually buy one? Oh, I haven't bought one yet. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah, I had bought one and uh, Curio had bought one. And I All bought right. a last wish. And you bought a last wish. I'm curious what it does, but I'm scared to bite into it because then I don't want to not have it later. I mean, so, if, mm -hmm. if you get it and you like the effect, how many of these cupcakes do they have? You could potentially buy another one for later once you know what it does, right? Uh, Unless she I has guess. a limited number. Uh, so Reitz actually speaks up. Uh, so for this one, I actually will tell you what it does, because I don't want you to waste it. Oh, so okay. So this cupcake is one of my more unique ones that I like. Uh, once you eat it, uh, you will be able to ask one question of a creature that died less than a minute ago. Oh, so speak with dead, but with one use. Mm-hmm. Nice. Interesting. Would it be worth it to buy another one and throw it in our bag of holding for later? Uh, sure, you can have another one. 
That was more a question for Lily. Just remember that the bag of holding is not a bag of preservation, so when we eat it later, it might be stale, but it'll still be edible. Mm -hmm. Will the magic yeah, they, still work? They actually last quite a while. Oh, that's good. Uh, especially this one, because I know you're not going to just stumble upon a dead person who just died all that often. <laughs> within a minute. Yeah, within a minute. Of them dying. Unless you kill them, which... Uh, I won't say anything about that, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather not. It's probably best not, not to kill somebody just to ask a question. Yeah, ex exactly. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> you don't want to kill someone just to ask them a question, which you could have right. done when I they were alive. Like that, I feel like that's easier when they're alive. Yeah. Uh huh. Son, mm -hmm. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Curio asks, "How often do you come around these parts?" Um. Well, I actually travel all over. So I just came from a town by the lake, and I'm heading into Briar. Bit of a roundabout way. I wanted to follow the road a bit more, because uh, you often find people on the roads here. But then I'm going to double back and head to Briar. Ask questions. Shoot first, ask questions later. <laughs> oh my god, it's on. <laughs> All right. Can I... I pick up another cupcake. I also want the King Coco. I keep looking at it. The King Coco, sure. Yeah. So she hands you a King Coco. Okay. All right, there you go. The mythical Are you cream, eating... the mythic cupcake though too looks interesting. Are you going to eat it now? The way that it works. Would we know if just eating a nibble is enough to trigger it, or if you have to consume the entire thing? Um, you have to consume the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no sure. double dipping, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I'll try. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and try it now. All right, so I put you... put the promo one away for later. Down this chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting and a little candy crown on it. And you gobble it down. And, uh... Uh, after you're done eating, you're like, I'm not noticing anything. It, it, it was something supposed to happen? And so, uh, Reets, uh, reaches down, and she's like, here, have a bite of this bread. So, do you take the bread? I guess so. Alright, so you, you take the bread and bite into it. And... It tastes like chocolate. Everything you eat the will best taste like thing chocolate. Ever. So roll a How D4. Long does this last? Roll a D4. <laughs> and whatever you roll, it'll be that many hours that it lasts for. Oh no. Well, four, four hours. hours of chocolate. So four hours, go. everything you eat will taste like chocolate. Is it at least different varieties of chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, every every bite you take of something tastes like a different kind of chocolate. I would roll a four on the one d four. Welcome, Seriously Kinka. Curious of the mythic cupcake. <laughs> uh, so thank you for what was that? Uh, I think that was a host. Not sure. I kind of missed it. I think I want to try mythic and actually eat it here. Okay. So I hand out the three silver. All right. So you take the mythic cupcake and you're going to eat it here? Yes, please. So you bite. So you get this cupcake and on the top of it is like a uh, frosting that's designed to look like a griffin. So you Wings. you eat it, <laughs> and you kind of have this like psychedelic experience. Uh, okay. And it so everything with this one just happens in your head. The one effect I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> so this okay allows you to experience ten minutes of the represented creature's life. So you, you're like seeing through the eyes of a griffin. Okay. 
we like, need to hold on to uh, Lilia so that she's not trying to move <laughs> around while this is happening. So it doesn't I'm just take gonna park my butt on the floor. It doesn't take ten minutes in real life, but uh, in it's her like head, a quick it's yeah. Snapshot okay. of ten okay. minutes. Yeah. Flying looks so fun. And everybody's just going to be confused yeah. around me. <laughs> yeah. You, you just stand there for a couple seconds, like kind of in a trance. Mm -hmm. And then you come out and say, oh, man, flying, flying is so, so fun. fun. <laughs> and everyone's just no, like, yeah. what? Yeah. what? <laughs> All right. So for the next so... hour, Lilia gets insight, uh, an advantage on insight checks against Griffins. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, so San wants the ditto and parrot masks. So you can go ahead and add those. Uh, so with, with these items, if you're adding them to stuff, you're just going to have to make notes. Notes. All right. Uh, did they're, you guys want to take a look custom. at the candies at all? Sure. Well, yes. All right. Here you go. Uh, question. I need to remove the three silver, but I only have gold. What's the conversion? Uh, it should do it. It doesn't. It tells me I don't have gold. Okay. So uh, what ten, is yeah, one gold? Ten silver to one gold. It's, yeah, that's one it's to ten. physical inventory, not monetary. Yeah, ten silver is one gold. So, here's our candy. We have pixie sticks, gummy worms, Big V's bubble gum, Joker jawbreakers, Laffy Taffy, ooze cubes, bonbons, and chocolate bark. I have a thought. And so these are each seven copper. All right. Uh... Meteor, you didn't read uh, Curio's response to the the cupcake that he ate. Well, Curio spins around in circles and breathes fire into the air, then coughs and rubs his chest, checks his tail for singes, and looks at Sappy. That's a spicy cupcake. <laughs> we go... Oh, I yep. love it. Uh, so remove one gold and add seven silver to pay three silver. Yep. Sounds yep, right. I did. I did that. I still want that Mio mask. Question. Can I get uh -huh. uh, some pixie sticks? Sure. How many would you like? Mm. <laughs> Let's see, there's seven copper. Yes, seven copper each. Okay. Or we'll, we'll say five copper. We'll say five copper. Five copper? Yep. Easier easier math that way. Give me four yep. of them. All right, four pixie sticks. Here you go. I kind of want that Mio mask, but um, out of character question, if mm -hmm. I put this on Luna, can I make her into adorable lolly girl? <laughs> <laughs> you could. <laughs> All right. I think I... I, I... Yeah, okay. I want the Mio mask, so, please. Uh, I eat the pixie stick right now because it'll just taste like chocolate, so I'm going to wait. <laughs> but if anybody else would like to try one of yeah. the ones I've purchased. So I, I will say for the pixie sticks, just make sure you're in a safe spot. All right? Ooh. Maybe that's the one that lets you fly. I think I want the Mio mask. All right. You can have the Mio mask Ooh. as well. Man, my gold amount has gone down. <laughs> Two. All right. Would anyone like anything else? Hmm, yes. Um, I would like one of those chocolate barks. Chocolate bark? Great. How many? Mm -hmm. Just one? How many can I get for one gold? Oh, for one gold. Oh, that would be, let me see, 20? I believe it's 20, 20 may be too much. <laughs> I, yeah, I chuckle. Five I chuckle copper, hardly. so two would be one silver, and then ten silver would be twenty. Ah, well, in that case, let's just do two. Two? All right. Yes. <clears throat> I guess I'm gonna have to find some clothes for <clears throat> Luna if I turn her into a human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for that. 
All right, so are you eating the chocolate bark now? I yeah, uh, that I am I am satisfied. You are eating it or you aren't? No, not now. Okay. Not now. Okay. All right. Anything else anyone? For me, I'm good. I'm just copying down the description and the custom item notes for my cupcake. I did that's, the candy already. That's what I'm trying to oh. do for the Mio's mask. Yeah, because we have, uh, if you go to manage inventory, you actually have an option to add custom, custom item and you can just write it in. Uh, so if you look at the journals, uh, let's see. They should be in your journals for you to see. So you don't need to write them down. I would still prefer it, though. Yeah, it's easier to just have it as a reference. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so it puts the ditto mask on. What do I look like? All right, so you put the ditto mask on, and your face actually turns into Reet's face. So you now have uh, white pale skin and pale white hair. Curio's curiosity was sated with the chroma cupcake and doesn't need to buy anything else. All right. <laughs> Just waiting for Luna to turn into a naked little human girl that meows a lot and tries to jump on Lilia's lap. <laughs> waiting more to see well, the town if, guard's uh, reaction. While we're still here, if anybody else would like a King Coco cupcake, uh, I think we found a way to make the ration bars edible. <laughs> We figured it out. I'm having trouble. You know, the Laffy Taffy is one of my favorites. What did you say the proper description for the Last Wish Cupcake was? Last Wish Cupcake? Let's see. You can speak with someone speak. who has died. You can ask minute. one question one, of someone who has died within the last minute. Kirio and Son are having a uh, an interaction with the Ditto mask right now. Kirio holds out hand to Son. Can I have a moment? Watch this. Hands it over. So Kirio puts on the mask, and his face turns into Son's face. Okay then. So we can trade places now. <laughs> or Son only the face least. though. So. Uh, when I mean, this happens, that shit's good for the rest. when this happens, Moro kind of like uh, gets a little startled, was like, and like kind of just like jumping around uh, Curio a bit, like sniffing him, like, what what's going on? Why is there two sons? And uh, uh, son, you actually hear him being like, what, what magic? Confused? You don't smell right. Okay, Son. Or Morrow. <laughs> it's okay, Morrow. We're good. Son Magic, calm down, Morrow. <laughs> Kirio does his best to giggle like Son, failing miserably, and takes mask off and gives it back to Son. So you take the mask off and so uh, now, Morrow's like, oh, now, oh! Son, you took your face off! And now you're a cat! <laughs> <laughs> now, now Son will look oh, like Firebutt. Oh. Will look like Kirio. This mask so, is worth it now just to traumatize Moro. So Moro actually goes over to uh, Callan and kind of hides behind him and like curls up behind him, like kind of whimpering, like, oh, oh, I, I'm and so And Luna, confused. I can just imagine her sitting here just looking around, tail flicking yeah, Lu behind her. Luna's just like, uh, you, you hear Luna be like, what an idiot. <laughs> Dog idiot. <laughs> uh. right. So, anyone want anything else? <clears throat> Lots of goodies here. Um, What's that? Everything? Yeah, that that yep. is everything. Cupcake, candy's mask. Okay. Yep. Um. Da, 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 da. 
pretty Thanks gummies that are shaped like little dragons. I'm surprised Firebutt did not buy some. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, they are gummy worms. They're shaped like dragons. Yeah, that's what a worm is. To worm be a is dragon a type of is dragon. not a worm. A worm is a type of oh. dragon. Okay. Yeah. W Y R M S. Mm -hmm. Why would Kyrio buy him? He already had Breath of Dragon, though. I mean, I said a surprised Firedale did not buy them. <laughs> Firedale is not there. This is Kyrio. <laughs> He's being good. Well, you already bought some pixie, pixie sticks. I, I think I'm good. Okay. I have my mask. I could t turn Luna into a cute anime girl. <laughs> I, I, I'm picturing Kana from Dragon Maid. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, well, the yeah, the gummy worms and the laffy taffy are my two favorites. But uh, I'm glad you guys are satisfied with your purchases. Yes, thank you very much. No problem. Anytime. To trying these later when they won't smell like chocolate, so I can get the full experience. <laughs> that sounds perfect. I'm curious if we're going to have to hold her down. Pixie Sticks, I wonder if she's going to think she can fly. Who knows? <laughs> the, the question is, will Saplin actually be the one to eat them, too? I'm tempted to try one, if you'd share. <laughs> I offered. I bought four. Kyrio will leave one silver tip on the counter, but not say anything about it, then walk off to chase Mora around for a few minutes. All right. She accepts the tip gladly. I'm curious what would happen if San put on the mask now to look like Curio. <laughs> San goes over to and how Mara the mask would react. Can be enchanted so we can uh, choose a face if possible. Um. Oh, you already did. Oh, Son oh. puts on and looks at Mora. Oh, I missed that part. Uh. So yeah, you put on the mask and turn into uh Curio. Curio. And. Uh, at this point, Moro just kind of puts his paws over his eyes like, I don't see anything. I don't see anything. <laughs> She's asking, can she put the mask on Moro? Um, I think so. I think that would be fine. So you'll It'd just have a, look a, really weird. You have a dire wolf with the face of Son. Mm-hmm. No, no mask! No mask! You, so you try and put the uh, mask on Moro, and he kind of, like, bites at it, like, I don't want it! Evil mask! Evil! <laughs> she wants Moro to wear it so she can become Moro. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she wants, yep. So you, you, you manage to put it on Moro's face uh, briefly, and his face turns into your face. And then I assume you take it, yeah, sorry, her. Her. Her face turns into your face. And I assume you take it right back off and then put it on yourself. Yep. <laughs> Son just has the face of Moro now. <laughs> so Son and now what's Moro's puts it reaction? on and... Uh, let, me, let me see. Let me read the mask thing again. Make sure that's what it would actually do. Face priest of one. Yeah, it doesn't specify humanoids. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you, you now get a dog face. <laughs> I'm going to uh, cast Minor Illusion as a cantrip. Okay. And make it so that um, her body. So that Mara has an option to not see that. <laughs> should they choose? Wait. So you're making it so that the uh, Moro face looks like San's face again? Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm covering the mask illusion with another illusion. <laughs> so she puts on the mask and her face turns into Moro's face and 
Moro, like, just gets all kind of wide-eyed, like, what the hell is going on? And then you, uh, a few seconds later, uh, change her face back into her own. <laughs> I was hoping you would change her body into Moro. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. I was thinking about it, but I was reading the uh, restrictions and I wasn't sure if I could. So, at this point, Moro just kind of, like, looks exhausted and turns around and goes back jumps into the cart and just kind of buries her head under a sack that's in the back like i'm done <laughs> poor moro <laughs> did moro want to check to see if that was an illusion that i generated or no no okay moro's just like i'm done <laughs> fair enough <laughs> Sam puts the mask away and goes to comfort Moro. Aww. If okay. Sam puts on the mask again, does she just look like herself or does she still look like Moro? Uh, it would look like herself. Yeah. Okay. Because she was so the last person to it, wear it. Yeah, if she took it off and immediately put it back on, it would be Sam's face. So it basically okay. resets every time it's taken off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. All right. Can we enchant to pick a face? Unfortunately, no, I don't have an option for that. Yeah, I think that would be messing that, with the current enchantment. That's higher level than we can yeah, do. Yeah, that... The, the copying last face is easier. Uh, <laughs> yep. it, if it were picking a face, it would be much more expensive. I would probably sell that for... Like a platinum. Because that would be extremely okay. useful. Interesting. Um, as an out of story question, do you think since she's a traveling merchant, we should ask if she's seen any Vistani? You can. Uh, do you ask that? Lily? Is that a good idea? I was honestly thinking, just looking at the the minor illusion spell and knowing how the mask works. I was wondering if we could have done a check to see if we could tell that they were wearing a mask. Um, you wanted to check if the, the if we could tell that there was an enchantment reads... on there in case we hadn't known. <clears throat> um, like so... when Son was messing with the mask, mm -hmm. could we have peered through the mask illusion had we tried? Um, like, is it like minor illusion where you can roll a check and if your check's high enough, you know, something's yes. not quite right? Yes. Okay. So if you were to inspect the face, then you would be able to tell it, it feels different than what you're looking at. But the ditto okay. one, you notice that something is not quite right, correct? <clears throat> mm-hmm. What about with the Baba mask and stuff like that? With the Baba mask... Um, well, it sounds like they're all illusion-based, so. Unless he has something that says different. So the Baba so I mask... Think the Baba mask would be more of a easier to catch to the The Baba mask is more like a visual, like a, everything you're looking at. So to everyone else, you're just wearing a Baba mask. But what you're seeing, like ugly things become beautiful. Okay. So and it, then, it, it's not yeah. changing it for everyone else, just for you. Okay, because I, I must have read that wrong, because I oh, read wait, it as no, if a beautiful anything, person wears it sorry. and look ugly. Sorry, anything beautiful becomes abhorrent when wearing this mask. So, sorry, opposite. Uh, okay. Anything so beautiful becomes looking, ugly. So I'm thinking that you end up looking ugly. So you're wearing an ugly mask, uh, and anything you look at also looks ugly. Yeah, but if is it the person that's wearing the mask looks ugly, or is it everybody else looks ugly? The person wearing the mask is how it looked like it was phrased. So it says, anything beautiful becomes abhorrent when wearing this mask. Yeah. Th that, so that, could that could be interpreted either way. That could be interpreted either way. 
honestly. Uh, if you guys want it to be you look ugly, we can do that. That would be an interesting way to disguise other people besides Saplin because yeah that that could be that could be you become ugly or that be, could be uh you see things ugly if it's the person wearing the mask looks ugly i would imagine that part would be the same kind of intelligence or investigation check to know that something's not quite right with mm -hmm. what's being represented all right, Kinka well, said the person I, yeah, wearing like the mask Kinka looks ugly, and anyone they look at looks ugly to them. Yeah, I, I like that. So, so let's make it a, it, a dual thing. Yeah, I agree. So it could work in a possible disguise. Yeah, so it, it would be both a benefit and a hindrance, because uh, it's changing what you're seeing as well. So yes. you couldn't give yeah. an accurate description of things while wearing this. Yeah, so you'd have to rely on your companions. Right. But you'd be disguised. So right. it would kind of be like a double-edged mm -hmm. thing. Okay. And then mine, I just want to turn Luna into a cute cat girl. <laughs> or human girl. Are you actually going to put it on her? Not right now. I would like to get her some clothes because I'm assuming she's going to be <laughs> naked. That's a possibility. All right. Thanks, Kinka. Yeah, thank you, Kinka. <laughs> I, I like that translation of it. All right. So, are you guys done with Reets in her magic um, shop? I oh, never you really got my ask? answer, though. You wanted to ask? Okay. Should we ask her first? Um, if she's seen a large so why not? At least she can, the worst can happen is she hasn't seen anybody. Yeah. No harm in asking. Music. <laughs> uh, we always forget the jukebox exists. Yep. So I, I do have a question out of curiosity. Since you travel a lot, quite a bit, or mm -hmm. around quite a bit, um, would you happen to have seen a group of people that look like this? And I pull up the picture of the Vistani. Um, Vistani? Uh, I believe I saw. A big group of them by Donnelly a while back. Been a few weeks, okay. though. Okay, so I guess we're heading to Donnelly then next. Yep. Yeah, I was at Donnelly like three weeks, maybe four weeks ago. That's quite a while. I hope they're still there. Me too. Oh, just a just a warning because we've had some issues. There's a pair of Vistani that have been running around, uh, mm -hmm. trying to wreak havoc, wreak havoc, feed adventurers to mimics. Um, oh my! And then the Briar recently had an issue with some enchanted coins so they might be a little wary just a heads up i will keep that in mind town. we did resolve well, thank it you. but that did happen <laughs> i will keep that in mind thank you i appreciate the warning do you want to do a minor illusion to show her the picture of the dad vistani to watch out be careful it's up to you well, I don't really think that's to... necessary. I mean, the guy got hung. No, he... the bad she... oh, the two? The two? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what she was saying. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, sounded like you said Dad Vistani, and I was like, <laughs> oh. No, definitely bad. not Peter. I said bad. <laughs> okay. Because my brain is blanking on their names, but yeah, Alenka I'll and show, Charles. Yeah, I'll show a small illusion of uh, Alenka and Charles. Mm-hmm. Just be yeah. careful if you happen across these people. Okay, I will. These these were the two trying them. to acquire goods for some undisclosed purpose and feeding adventurers to mimics. That sounds nasty. Fun. I so we're will looking keep for the Pistani to try Thank and give them a heads up. I assume they're still at large. Yes, we okay. are in pursuit. We haven't had any luck finding them yet. 
All righty. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and head to Briar and hopefully get some more customers. Hope That's you guys good. are satisfied. Yeah. Be sure to tell all your friends about Reet's Enchanted Goods Shop. We will. We Thank will. you, friend. Thank you. Safi's totally become the police detective showing around the pictures, asking if anyone has seen these individuals and to be on the lookout for them. Hey, maybe you suggested dangerous. showing them. I was going to let yep. it go. <laughs> all right, so I wasn't you guys... Gonna bother. Make your I'm way. Sure there's easier way to contact people from around. Besides, Not yet. yeah. So it would have said, if you hear anything about them, please let us know. But we don't have sending possible. or message yet. Yep, yep. So I didn't say it. All right. So you guys uh, say your goodbyes to Reets and uh, continue on your way. You make it to the bridge and uh, go over the bridge without any incident uh pass a couple no travelers uh no luther there at the moment no friendly bugbear oh, sad now yeah uh well if, if he was there he'd probably <laughs> wouldn't he probably be uh trying to hold people up for their money again no no that, he said he wasn't that's why he that. was yeah that's why he was there at the bridge before but you said that he was doing it because everybody thought that's what he would do. Right. Uh, I, I'm saying he doesn't live at the bridge. So, theoretically, if he was there, I that, okay. that would be that, his reason for going I there. did say that we could maybe visit him on our way out. That was said, yeah. but... Right. <laughs> like, he was in the forest, I think. Yeah, he was in the forest. <laughs> around Briar. Yeah. Um, Do we want to go look for some more of those mysterious flowers that he had? I think that was the only one. I think it was just a, a natural, incidental hybrid. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that was the idea you got from him, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you want, we can rewind a bit and uh, you guys can look for Luther. I'm not that worried yeah. about it. Okay. I was just hoping he'd be there and we could say hi and then bye. But yeah, these conversations he's with the, all these NPCs that Saplin Big Prince just ends up eating so much time. <laughs> it does. I like uh, conversations, though. We can have conversations <laughs> with new people, though. Okay, uh, fine. Yeah, I, I like how Firedale worded that. As in, why would he be at the bridge if he stopped doing the bad thing? Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. Well, my thought is that, well, I was wondering if he lived close to the bridge and we would notice him around, but... No, he, he okay. lives in the forest around Briar. Okay. Alright, so you guys cross the bridge. No incidents. Uh, you get a little ways past it, and it's getting kind of dark. Uh, so it's probably a good idea at this point to uh, set up camp for the night. Hey, Sun pets more we do on investigations and... <laughs> Uh, perception checks to see yeah. if it's safe. I assume you're setting up your traps and everything. I guess it's investigation, or is it per uh, perception? Perception. Well, investigation to look for for tracks and trails. Mm -hmm. Perception for everything else. Uh, so, wrong? with the investigation, looking for tracks and things, you do see the tracks of some pheasants. Like a small group of pheasants. Ooh, there's some uh, game to be hunted. With a tw with a nat twenty perception, <laughs> uh, there there doesn't look to be anything dangerous that you can see. Okay. No spider webs this time, guys. <laughs> uh, Song of the Horo. I assume you guys are following the tracks. So uh, roll survive. If you guys are following the tracks, roll survival with advantage or just uh, take that nat 20. The nat 20. So with the nat 20 uh again nat 20 <laughs> perception nat 20 survival good yep. job um you follow you follow the tracks expertly like they're very clear and laid out because there was actually a small group of them and you actually find a pheasant nest with like six pheasants, uh, they haven't noticed you yet. 
Can I send Luna over there to to follow so she can maybe yeah. mm -hmm. catch a pheasant? Yeah. And I guess I roll perception for that for her. Because uh, I don't think no. she has a... No, you don't yeah, need to roll on. since they got the perception and survival already. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Not, Not sneaky about attacking the pheasants. <laughs> Alright, so you try and sneak up to the pheasants and you... Uh, step on a twig and they don't notice anything and then you step on another twig and then they notice you <laughs> and what would I roll for Luna trying to get one uh, survival. survival there you go All right, so with, with, with the 20, nat 20 all the nat 20s uh, yeah so with that roll, uh, yeah, you guys do manage, e even though you spooked them before, you uh, manage to catch all six pheasants. Woo! Why do they have pheasants and two nat ones? And you, you didn't even kill, <laughs> you, you killed three, but there's still three others that you captured alive. We'll say that. So you can kill them if you want, or you can uh, keep them fresh and kind of like. Uh... Yeah, let's keep them fresh. Yeah. Yep. And cook up the others for dinner. Yep. All right. So you kind of like. Uh, ha how are you keeping them fresh? Are you just gonna tie them up, like tie their legs together, and put them in? Tie the... their legs together, put them in a bag with an opening. Okay. All right. Very good. I was gonna say if we had a box in the cart, toss them in the box. Um. You might have one crate in there, uh, left over from. Uh, Peter. That you could use. Yeah, just tie I mean, them up. if we really needed to, we just take a, uh... Well, we have sacks, don't we? Yeah, you have sacks. So, you have several yeah, sacks just... and one crate. One empty crate. So just put them, put them each in a sack and leave it loosely tied so that they have air to breathe. Okay. Uh, as the last pheasant goes into the bag, it gives you puppy eyes <laughs> as if to ask why. <laughs> nice, needy user. Very nice. All right. So you guys cook up the pheasants. I'm not even going to have you roll because you probably just roll a nat 20. <laughs> oh, they're good. <laughs> um, I think we well, cleansed our dice. <laughs> I think so. Uh, uh, so you, you have a very good dinner. And uh, you set up camp for the night, and uh, you go to sleep. I assume taking turns for watch, mm -hmm. and uh, you are able to sleep without incident. Woo! Okay, long so long rest. Yep, you guys can long rest. Uh, sun waits till everyone is asleep and puts the mask on Aurora. <laughs> If you have an item that recharges at dawn, like a ring, mm -hmm. um, and if any charges do are your used, rolls, for, uh, uh, roll for those. Well, you guys do that. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 Yeah, anything that recharges at dawn, you would roll for charges now. I don't think I have anything. I don't nope, think we've I used think any. Yeah, I, don't I don't think, think we've used do. any charges. My staff of the woodlands is topped up already, so as far as it's allowed to be. Oh, and I am going to do one thing because I can. Explain to Meter why I did that after. I want to read through my potion book. <clears throat> On my way back. Okay. Yeah, I would normally set up my, my snare trap, but I don't think I need to now. We have food for a little bit. <laughs> Roast some of that, that pheasant over the fire. 
use some of our produce with it. All right, I yep. am back. Have a, have a lovely campfire meal. By the way, Meteor, I uh -huh. rolled for reading my potion book. Not my antidotes okay. book, but my potion book that I took from the library. Okay. All right. Perfect. And I think um, the only thing that needs to recharge is Callan's magic detection staff. Yep. Or and you wand. only had one use on it, so it's recharged. Yep. I didn't even mark it off before because there wasn't really a need. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> uh, who was on watch after you? Uh, no clue. <laughs> I guess it'd probably be Callan. <laughs> yeah, Callan usually takes the first watch, but uh, he could have a uh, second watch this time. I know Callan often does watch since uh, like you, he only sleep. needs to sleep four hours or meditate four hours. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys wake up the next morning feeling nice and refreshed. Um, let's roll uh, another survival. To make break to make breakfast, unless you guys just want to uh... pull out some of the produce from the pack. Yeah. So who nice, who, who is breakfast. making the breakfast? Oh, I was I'm pulling kidding. ingredients out mainly, but why am I rolling advantage all the time? I'm confused. You may have it turned on in D and D Beyond by accident. You may have clicked advantage last time and need to just uncheck it. So, D&D &D Beyond, uh, do you have the yeah, Beyond I know, 20 I, box? I, I, I'm i good. I got it. Okay. Ask every time. What was, was that roll, Firedale? The medicine. That was Super Advantage. Was oh, it not? Super Advantage? Is that what that was? Yeah. Okay. Well, I did a 12. Obviously not great. Well, I had the... a 22. The only person who needs to roll it is whoever is cooking breakfast. Like, I was specifically saying I was pulling produce out okay. to kind okay. of we, cook it we will the take, fire. We will take Lily's then. And with a 22, that's a really good breakfast. Uh, so we'll give you guys... Let's see. We'll give you guys uh, five temporary hit points for the day. How do we... Okay. Go to uh, your hit points, and when you click your hit points, it'll have a box for temp. I, I got it. Okay. I'm good. How many was that temp points? Five. Five. Five, Five more? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you got Mantle of Inspiration from me and you haven't lost those hit points back, they're there until you lose them. Yep. Yep. Uh, I believe until you lose them or until you sleep. Uh, so, does not say that, but... Well, the, the these five would be lost when you sleep, so this is just for this day. Okay, but like my Mantle of Inspiration ones, it doesn't say when it goes away. I think it resets when you sleep, because if you do a long rest, it does reset it. It resets my my uh, uses of the Inspiration. I, I Like, if you uh, add five temp on right now, and then you do a long rest, I believe it... Uh, Gets rid of it. Okay. That's what I was saying. I, I feel like when you hit the long rest button, it'll tell you that. If, it, if so, we'll figure it out. Possibly. All right. So you guys set out again. Travel uh, throughout the day. Uh, past the occasional person on the road. Uh, nothing really to speak about. Um, and it's getting into the evening a bit. It's not quite time to stop, but it's not getting towards the there. Layer. Um, and Moro starts, like, sniffing the air. And uh, like, he, he smells something good. And Moro jumps up and dashes towards the smell. He's going off into the woods a bit. Unless the feature grants you that 
that grants you temporary hit points has a duration. They last until they're depleted or you finish long rest. Okay. Yeah, or you finish long rest. <coughs> Alright, so do you guys chase after him? Han does. And her. Alright, so just you? I guess I'll just walk, sl keep walking, following, but not running. I missed crazy. why Moro ran off. Uh, he smelled something. Sm yeah, okay. smelled something she, quote unquote yeah. delicious. Wh whatever she, she smelled, running. she took off running towards it. Smelled something more delicious than the the thing that I'm cooking on the fire. Thanks, Moro. <laughs> Well, you're, you're not cooking anything oh. at the moment. You guys have traveled yeah, cooking, today. Yeah, we've traveled already. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> you growl at her mentally to get back. <laughs> uh, does your mental speak have a range? Don't know. Uh, so, let we'll say... Uh, Considering you were the one that created it, Meteor, does it have a range? The the mental speak I didn't create, that's an actual trait they have. Um with beast companions. Uh, so we'll we'll say uh you you growl at her and she says back to you, food! I'm going running. to cast Speak with Animals. Okay. I hit the cast button, but it just put the description in. So okay. I just expended the charge manually. Uh, and so what it, do is I it... hear from creatures nearby? <laughs> uh, from creatures nearby? Yep. Um, From creatures nearby, you don't hear anything useful. I'll say that. They're, like, just general animal chatter. I don't hear whatever Mara's chasing. Correct. Uh, so, as you guys... Uh, well, well, let's figure this out. Uh, is it just Son chasing, or did you all chase? Uh, Kira, or Callan uh, runs after him, too. I guess I'll at this run point after we need to well. we need to know where they are. We don't have a good way of getting in touch. If we're split up, so we need to stay mm -hmm. together. All right. I guess we all chase after Moro. So you guys uh, divert off the path and go chase after Moro. Keeping up wow. a perception on the path as as we break off the path here. Okay. Uh, yes. Twenty-one perception. You haven't noticed anything at the moment. That uh, was a natural nineteen. <gasps> so. So finally, uh, Moro makes a turn into this like little opening, and as you follow her in, there is a woman at a campfire, and uh, she is cooking something on the fire, and <clears throat> Moro just kind of goes up to her and is kind of like uh, trying to get at the food. <laughs> Like, ah, what's going on? Oh. I, can I speak tomorrow and be like, Morrow, uh, that's kind of rude. Hold on a minute. Son tackles, talk tackles Moro. <laughs> Sorry, you can do that while Son is ta tackling her. <laughs> Moro, were you raised in the wild or something? Random uh, dire wolf coming up to a campfire will alarm people. Please let us talk to them <laughs> first. Uh, Moro hungry. Uh, Moro, Moro says to Son. wait. <laughs> Moro, I guess this is you can not hear her your too. food. Yeah, I can. I can speak <gasps> to Moro, and Moro and, can hear me. <laughs> so, now that you've kind of gotten a hold of Moro, uh, you look at the the woman who's kind of like fallen backwards off of her stump, uh, and you get a good look at her now. And this is a uh, dragonborn woman turn to her and be like, I am so sorry. I'm not sure what's gotten into her. She must oh. have thought what you were cooking smelled delicious. Oh my. So that's your dog? 
this is this is Son's uh, companion here. Her name oh, is okay. Maro. Oh my, that gave me quite the fright. We're so sorry, sorry about that. She just took off running like crazy. We all chased after her. Oh no, no problem really. Oh, it, it's never a bad thing to have a fright. <laughs> Keeps you on your toes. I kind of, I'm in the background. I kind of chuckle at that. I'm like, <laughs> oh. her, her wisdom is, oh. is plentiful. <laughs> I, I have plenty of food here, and and you look at what she's cooking, and it's this like big old chunk of meat, like way more than uh, she could eat by herself. Would you guys like to join me? Uh, your if you wouldn't your mind, wolf is we... more than. Welcome to have some, too. We can also offer some food to share to supplement the meal, because we're probably sure. rather more company than you intended to cook for. Well, this was a pretty big slab of meat. <laughs> it was going to go bad if I didn't cook it, so... Insight check. Uh, yeah. With a 20, she is... You are pretty sure she's being truthful. Okay. I'll offer up some of the produce. Okay. This will also go bad if we don't eat it eventually. <laughs> so you offer up some of the produce to go with it? She's like, oh, yep. we could make something really tasty with this. <laughs> and, um, so are you guys setting up camp here then with her? Uh, she, she does have a tent set up here as well. Yes. We will, we will set up here. somebody needs to go back and get our cart, though. All right. So... As, uh, you guys took the cart with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. We pursued with the cart. So, as okay. you guys are setting up camp and looking around, uh, you come to a realization. This is the oh, same God, place where the you spider fought den. the spiders. Uh, Perception at least they're gone. Um, alright, so 13. Any Anyone else want to... <laughs> Actually, that would be investigation, wouldn't it? Uh, I, I'd say perception is fine. Okay. Uh, you're you're looking around to see if you see spiders, basically. Yeah. Um, with 22, 21, 13, those are really good rolls. 20, 20 yeah. yeah. You guys are getting really good rolls tonight. Um, so with those rolls, um, you're like looking up at the nest that you know is there and looking around and you don't see any giant spiders, uh, Maybe a little spider here or there. Um, Am I hearing any? Because I still have speak with animals up. Um, not anything that's alarming you. Okay. So, like, you, you would he still hear, like, the occasional little spider or, uh, like, squirrel or something. Uh, but you're not hearing, like, a massive spider army. Have you been at, at this particular site? One, one thing you do notice with your invest your really high investigations uh the giant spider carcass is gone she's cooking the giant spider carcass it's possible you could ask her <laughs> Ew, i don't know you're like safe to eat uh Did you want to ask her I'm if that's a, little... a spider carcass? Or I'm what little... the meat is? I want to say yes, but eh, I'm scared. <laughs> Son asked what the meat is. Oh, yeah, Thank sorry. I, I never even told you. Uh, this is from a bear that I uh, killed a few days ago. Okay. I check. Uh, all right, go ahead, roll insight. In 18, she's being honest. Okay. Remember, if in doubt, any food, never ask what it is. You'll enjoy it more. Uh, son, have you seen any spiders here? Spiders? Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, oh, and where are my manners? I'm sorry. My name is Ifrash. Okay. I, I never even introduced myself. My bad. Very nice to meet you. Uh, we asked because we actually stayed in this clearing not too long ago, and there was a giant spider's nest here. 
Spiders? Really? Yeah, we cleared it out. She, she starts kind of looking around like, I don't like spiders. Yeah, that, that was kind of the reason for our alarm. We don't see any right now, but it might be best to relocate just a little bit. Uh, I mean, uh, and, and you also, safe. you also, with your perceptions, realize that the campfire she's using is the one that you guys left here. <laughs> yep. Um, I, I guess we could. I mean, we um, put this campfire here in the first place, so we can build you another one. I don't really have another map for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just assume that we're in a different <laughs> clearing. That looks very similar. Yeah. All right. So you find <laughs> another clearing that's fairly similar and set up nope, camp. spider there. webs. Yeah, check this right. one too. Oh, so that was a spider den? I never would have yeah, guessed. Not that perception. Somebody else look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted by trying to keep her moving. Mm -hmm. Definitely not mine. All right, um, hold on. Sans is not bad. <sighs> yeah, we we yeah, defeated Sans. the so spiders. So you, you that find were another there, but... you find another similar clearing. That one's uh, okay. Not too far away. Uh, yeah, that, that spider was very very big and <laughs> that very doesn't very have, scary. Yeah, and th this clearing doesn't have the the spider webs all around it. Okay. I can relax now. <laughs> Doing an investigation check for animal tracks? Um, for animal tracks, um, you find with a 19, sun waits for a dragon's woman to sleep and put a mask on. <laughs> sun! Oh, gosh. <laughs> and then put it, then put it on, uh, fire butt. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have fun with this mask, aren't we? Apparently. <laughs> the chaos. Best five gold ever. I get to turn Luna into a into a girl. Okay. All right. So, what did I find, if anything? Um. Sorry. Yeah. With the investigation, uh, you don't really find much you find like some squirrels tracks and like a little uh squirrel nest with like acorns in it small animals are a good sign that means there's not giant spiders eating them mm -hmm. right so i will take it uh banana has not turned luna into a girl yet no she no, wanted I to said... get clothes for her first <laughs> yeah i don't want a naked luna running around I mean, I have uh, an extra set of clothes, I believe, in my inventory. Excuse me. Yeah, I have a I have a costume girl. set. Human and I have girl fire butt. <laughs> I want to turn her into a human girl. All right, so you reset up camp. Uh, and she's like, yeah, I do too. I I'm glad you came along, cause I I wouldn't want to get attacked by spiders. That sounds awful. Hey, we're not fun. Yeah, we we made it out okay, but I wouldn't want anybody else to have to deal with them. In case so. there are stragglers still returning to the area. Right. Oh, that that would be so Son scary. Fell from a tree. <laughs> you fell from a tree. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we were hilarious. in the middle of doing introductions. Um, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm Lilia. Hi, Lilia. And these are my friends. And I look at them to introduce themselves. I kind of raise my hand just like to say hello. But like, <laughs> just that's hello. it. Hello. Nice to meet all of you. And Callum Pleasure introduces to meet himself you. as well. Like Saplin says, oh, song. right. I don't think I ever said. My name is Saplin. Hi. Hi. Our friend with the bushy tail over there is Curio. Hi, Curio. And, and, and he's, he's typing his introduction, I'm sure. And she's like, I'm saying, this is Son, this is Moro. And also, my, my panther here, her name is Luna. Oh. She's not as crazy as Moro. She won't Try and mow you down for food. Well, Mara Mar was just hungry. 
I can understand that. I, I can get pretty ravenous myself at times. Oh. Oh, curious wishes curious tail wishes to show off. Tail oh my! You want to see my tail? And she turns tail. around. She, she has like a dragon type tail, uh, or dragon a lizard born. type tail. Curio pet it. Uh, Curio, consent, <laughs> it, please. Ask first. <laughs> oh, oh my! <laughs> sorry, he sorry about about him. <laughs> oh, he, it's he doesn't okay. know personal bubbles. He he's still learning people skills. Oh. It's, he oh, sees it's an fine, impressive it's tail. He wants to pet it. Honestly, I kind of wanted to do the same his tail. Love <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, so, honestly, if you would like to pet his tail, please go go right ahead and ask him. I <laughs> curious spins around and happily <laughs> offers. So she pets your tail, and you're petting hers. And uh, th this is a tail that's different than any other you've really seen, Firedale, because most other tails you've seen are furry, and this one's all scaly. So that would probably interest you. Curio <laughs> shoves a his tail giggle. in her face. Curio is a happy kitty. Oh. It's so floofy. Alright, so you guys hang out for a while, and then uh, I assume you're going to sleep at some point. Oh, after we eat and make food and... Yeah, you guys have uh, talk and... eaten the food that she had prepared and added some of your own. How do we spell her name? Uh, that is a good question. So her name is spelled I P H O U R A S H. Ifarash? Ifarash. Okay. So, oh. Ifarash, <laughs> what brings you to these parts? <laughs> and we Where have a delicious, delicious meal of bed. Uh, of bear meat and produce while we're having this discussion. <laughs> well, I'm <clears throat> I'm just traveling uh, on my way to see some family. Uh, You're back and... from Briar to Brockford. Oh, I've been to Briar before. It's a nice little town. Vistani? Uh, she doesn't know of any Vistani around. Or that she's seen any time recently. Well, I don't think she would be Vistani either, so we're good. Yeah, she is not Vistani. Um, I'm gonna pull out my lute and start playing a tune. Be like, oh. I like to, uh, I like to play music. So I kind of, as we go around, I like to kind of put on performances. I think I'll join. All right, go ahead and uh, roll a check for that. Um, Am I rolling with advantage, or are we doing separate checks? Uh, yeah, you can roll with advantage for that. Okay. Since she's joining. So I'll just roll a second one. Mm-hmm. Nat 20. Well, there we go. <laughs> there it is. I so guess you, we do you, an amazing performance. You you like Ifarash, so you really wanted to impress her. So you you got your best uh uh you you like prepared, you like got out your sheet music, like, okay, I gotta do this perfectly. Best show of my life. Put on uh, the smoldering. I really want her effect. to like me. So you you start playing and you guys start playing together, and you're, like, really coordinated, and it's really absolutely beautiful. And uh, it actually brings tears to her eyes, like, happy tears, as she's listening. And as you finish, she's just like, Oh my gosh! That was so good! Oh, that was beautiful! Oh, oh you really brought up such so? good I've memories! a lot. Oh, I've been I, practicing a lot. My mother used to sing that song to me when I was a kid. Oh, and, and Safla just kind just of gets really lizard. sad for a moment, remembering that her mother has forgotten her. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry too. It's it's okay. It, it's we're we're looking for the Vistani that we asked you about because they put a curse on us, and my <coughs> mom forgot me. But it's okay. It's fine. We're gonna fix it. Your mom forgot you. Yep, we're gonna for we're gonna fix it. It's fine. Oh my! I I sure hope you do. Yeah, we're trying to find. And she kind of gives you a hug. To them. Kalaju here. His sister doesn't remember him. Hmm. So you you guys have spent like a few hours this at this point. It's. 
like well into the night uh and you guys are just having so much fun hanging out uh talon's actually off meditating in his tent uh so that once it's his turn to watch he can do it uh I think and... I'm going to pull up my book and do a reading of the potions book. All right. Uh, so as you guys are <clears throat> around the campfire, just having so much fun, doing a performance, chatting, hugging, uh, reliving old memories, um, uh, you actually hear... Uh, actually, uh, Moro and uh, Luna. Luna, thank you, uh, their because ears perk up. Because animals has worn off. <laughs> yeah, their their ears perk up, and okay. uh, do I like, roll with advantage? Uh, <clears throat> no, no advantage. It's a different book. No advantage. Um, I, I'm not even gonna have you roll for it yet. Oh, okay. Um, so Son and Moro's ears perk up, and. Uh, they speak to their respective owners and say, Someone there. Okay. So o only San and Lilia hear this. Oh, okay. Every everyone else is... Never mind. Uh, Ignore my role. <laughs> yeah, everyone else is just having fun, I'll chatting. Look out the tent and do a perception check. Yeah, I was doing perception to see if I could hear them, but... Yeah, mine definitely does not help much. Uh, see, there is, Son, there you is can, your good stealth You can sneak off, on. yeah. Uh, so, Son just... There when you need it. <laughs> Son just uh, bolts off into the, the woods all of a sudden. All sneakily. I assume Moro comes with you, or is Moro staying? You've left Moro just in case, okay. Has anybody woken the other people that were resting? Uh, so, San and Lilia haven't even told you anything yet. Yeah, so we're all still in our tents resting. Or in the cart resting. You, you guys are sitting around the fire, most of you. Oh, okay, we're not asleep yet? Correct. I guess I'll just put, like, my finger up to my mouth and be like... So Callan was in the tent them. meditating, but the rest of you were kind of around the fire having fun. And I guess with me being up, because I'm standing there looking around, I'll just put my finger up to my mouth and then point to, I guess, out there. Uh, okay. I don't know if I want to hear something. Not... I was thinking about doing enthralling performance for the giggles, but no, I didn't do it, so it doesn't count. Because right. I was wondering if I if I got his attention with the music, whoever it was, so, I could have charmed them. So Lilia has motioned to you guys. Um, quiet that I hear. Quiet. Some, like there's something there. Uh, how do you guys re react to that? I think at this point we're making noise. We're doing music. We're we're talking. I think us going quiet would be suspicious. Mm-hmm. So I will continue to talk, but try to do it in a way that's not going to distract them, but also make it look like we're not aware of their presence. But actually... Fun, hold the dagger in your hand. Okay. I mean, I have my loot in my hand. My loot can be my spellcasting focus, so I don't actually need to pull another weapon. It, my loot's <laughs> already in my hand. <laughs> Kyria holds up his paw to his maw and mimics Lilia. Since he has no clue what hand gestures she's doing to do, wiggling his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to start up a very, a very light loot tune, just as kind of background music to kind of cover them approaching whoever it is in okay. case to try to help their stealth check. Well, if that works. Yeah, but don't we want to hear them approaching? No, I think Son was trying to sneak up on them, so I was trying to cover Son. Right. Yeah, but she rolled in. <laughs> so, were you guys wanting to look or look for them, or? I wouldn't mind looking kind of out the corner of my eye, but I'm gonna continue trying to act natural. So you're trying to act natural, but you're looking. Okay, go ahead and roll yeah. perception, everyone mm -hmm. who wants to. <laughs> I'm not gonna did, suddenly so be can't. quiet because that would be really suspicious. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Alright. 18's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Since I already, already rolled a perception, I don't think I can again. Uh. Was that perception for after? Well, when I stepped out of the tent to look around to see if I could see what was going on. I rolled one, so I don't gotcha. think... So yeah, you already rolled for it. <laughs> All right. Well, so... hopefully nobody is staring intently Aurora, in a did you want to roll? Uh, Nihon? Yes. Are you rolling perception? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Can I whisper to Luna to go yeah. and try and check stealthily? Say again? Can I whisper to Luna to get her to try and go check stealthily what's going on? Uh, sure. And, um... I'll actually so, roll for her for stealth. Son and Moro are, have actually been, like, turned towards the outside of the, the clearing the whole time and just have, like, been kind of crouched and looking out that way with their ears turned towards it. It's um, gonna go up. So with with your rolls, uh, Lily had a decent roll. So, um, with your rolls, you guys notice that all of a sudden, oh gosh, you are surrounded. And it probably maybe. A lot of people. Brigands. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna continue playing, and it's up to you whether or not this counts as something that I have to do in combat or not. I I'm hoping for not. I'm hoping for an enthralling performance, really quick. Okay. Just infuse some of that uh that magic into the playing. Are you going to allow that? Uh, yeah, that's fine. They have not attacked yet. I'm just trying to make sure they... Wisdom, right right. wisdom saving throw is going to be a DC 13, and I get to pick three creatures that watched and listened to me perform for a solid minute. So if any oh, of them have been that... watching us for a minute... <laughs> Pika, what was that roll for? Uh, did you need to roll for that? Uh, no, it's a wisdom saving throw that they roll. Uh, but I can only pick three targets, so I was asking if any of them have been standing there for about a minute. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll say it's... Um... Let me think. So I assume Sun would not wait to attack something. Um, I guess it'd probably be no. He was getting but... right up behind somebody. Yeah. Um, we'll say. We'll say a couple of them. We're able to hear you. Uh, yeah, ho hold on, Son. We'll get to that. Grab me I... the three that are not engaged with a person currently, so not the one that Son is by. All right, so... Let me do... I gotta get these guys in proper order. Sorry. Yeah. I would suggest grabbing the ones with bows or spellcasters. I mean, I don't, I don't know that I have that choice. Meteor decides which ones actually heard me. Oh, okay. And we're engaged in the performance. I don't have that decision. <clears throat> All right, so we will say, uh, put put enthralling performance up for me to see. Okay. 
I basically charged my performance with Fey Magic. Once per short rest, you can choose three creatures that watch and listen to you perform for one minute. Each target makes a wisdom saving throw with a DC of 13. And they are charmed if it fails for one hour or until they take any damage, you attack it, or it sees you attack or damage its allies. Okay. Um... Target succeeds on the saving throw. The target has no hint that you tried to charm it. All right, so what's the save? 13, and it is wisdom. Okay. High goes to defender, so if they roll a 13, they get it. They succeed. All right. So I got a 16, a 17, and a 10. Okay, so, so... one of them is charmed. The other two have no idea that I tried to so do anything. We will say this guy here. Where? Uh, zoom no. out on your map. Yeah. I was not zoomed out far enough. I see. The one at the top right. Yep. Okay, Dougie. Alright, so... San, you are getting a sneak attack. So go ahead and roll your sneak attack. Because you did really good stealth before. So your stealth was... A 20, yeah. All right. So, uh, roll to hit first. Yeah, you have to roll to hit first, not just damage. Uh, a 10 is going to miss. You have advantage. Oh yeah, advantage. So uh, roll. Roll again to hit. Yeah, roll a d20. Uh, and then add your to hit. Oh. Roll slash roll one d20. Mm -hmm. Would probably be easiest. Yep. One. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so oh, no. done hit. No hit. <laughs> You would still take the higher, it just doesn't hit. Yep. So... But it's not the nat one. You don't have to do the nat one. <laughs> he now knows you're there. And with that, I would like you all to roll uh, initiative. 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 Done. Okay. Well, I got high on my initiative. Thanks. You did. I am 15, clean up. Lilia. <clears throat> <laughs> If I'm first on initiative, I know exactly what I'm doing. Huh. How do I need to select a token so that it stops giving me that error? Six. Curio is 14. Uh, so you need to go. Then we need Callan. If someone wants to roll Callan's. Oh, yeah. Apparently it's 215 there, by the way. Okay, Pika needs to go. So do we want to wrap after we've rolled initiative and started um, a combat next time? Yeah, if that's what you guys want to do, we can do that. Yeah, yeah that's fine. It's all good, Pika. Oh, don't worry too much about it. If you gotta go, you gotta go. To be fair, I don't think Firebutt's feeling so good next time. We could roll initiative uh, again yeah, we next could, time. Yeah, we could roll initiative again next time. So, yeah, but we'll do that. I like that. my roll! <laughs> well? Uh, let's see... Can't we just have an issue set up for next time? Yeah, I can just have it set yeah. up for next time. Um, all right, yeah, let me roll time. Callan's. Uh, Callan gets a four. Oh, you so rolled twice. Last. He's after me. Yeah, that that's. Yeah, but the first one I see is twenty-one. The 21. first one's a twenty-one on our end. Oh, I hate that it does that because <laughs> on my <laughs> end I see four first. Yeah. So who uh, goes first, Callan or I'm gonna, me? Uh, I'm I'm gonna take the four because that's what I see first. Do you both have a twenty-one? Which one I of you has 21. the higher dex? We're 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 doing the four. Okay. Because uh, that's okay. what I see first. Okay. I, I I'm just gonna do it off of what I see. <laughs> Last time you chose ours, I believe. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I don't know. <laughs> Here, I will roll again, but I'll roll. 
on dice. All right. So he now has an 18 there. Okay. Okay. So that is where we will end it. But yeah, that, that's kind of why I don't like doing that, because it does the two rolls since I have it open twice. I uh, wonder if you used two different accounts on Chrome or stuff like that. If two it different would roll. profiles? Yeah, if it would still roll twice. Um, not sure. Two different browsers will work, yeah. Yeah, so you could get Opera and use your Opera for that, potentially. Yeah. Assuming Firefox Opera has or... the D&D Beyond extension. Um, oh, right. right. Do you have a thing? It probably wouldn't. You would need something that has the extension. Mm -hmm. Unless yeah, he wants the, to the use second, the, the second one not The second one wouldn't need the extension. Oh, okay. So he would use Opera for the map. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. And Callan would be on Chrome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, all right, so we are going to end it there, folks. Uh, right when they are getting ambushed. Attacked. Uh, as they're having fun with their new friend, Ifarash. And uh, we'll pick it up next time, which will probably be in 2022. Yep. Because the yep. next two Fridays holidays. are holidays. So, yep, yep. tune in in 2022 to see how this turns out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and we will see you all next time. Happy Bye. holidays, everybody. Happy